Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the 30 days of automation in testing. Right, and this is the day two. Right, in this video, I'm going to explain you the top three books of automation testing, especially related to the testing part, uh, that you should read as a QA. Guys, I'm going to talk to you about why you should start reading the books. So let's get started. So uh, before moving out, guys, I just wanted to tell you a little bit story about it, right? So when I was into, whenever when I started my career, right, I was doing lots of things, right? I was learning something new. For example, I was learning Selenium, but I was watching few of the tutorials, right? I watched a uh, introduction to Selenium uh, tutorial. I implemented it in my own project. Well, uh, this is a story about the when I had nearly around one year, two years. I have now eight plus years experience, right? so uh, at the time uh, what i was doing i learned something i implemented it okay i learned about the manual concepts i uh, like boundary value equals percentage i implemented it right but the problem here is that the information was uh, you can say scattered right and i was not getting the step by step what exactly we have to do I means what if uh, if i want to do automation right uh, if i wanted to learn selenium right if i wanted to uh, learn about the core concept of manual testing there was no test step by step what what is what is the exact steps and what to do next after finishing those steps right so that's where one habit happened was that uh, after two years nearly around one or two years i was just struggling around this learning implementing that that thing right uh, one of my friend gifted me few of the books the first book was the lesson learn in software testing i'm going to put that link in the description it's an awesome book by james back right uh, where they will discuss about the lesson learn as a software tester right how what is what exactly is expected from a software tester and why what you are you are not a good keeper so they will explain you lots of concepts down there right that that book actually had changed me a lot right after that i started reading books like selenium essentials and selenium guidebook and so these are these top 3 books that i'm going to discuss about it so these are these are these ones right so uh, that's what i wanted to tell you like after 2 years uh, i started reading it but don't make this mistake if you are starting your career in automation testing or even if you are have a 4 years 5 years experience i will recommend you to start read means every means uh, even in my personal uh, opinion i would say that uh, if you are if you are uh, even uh, performing if you are performing uh, your normal task right for example if you are doing uh, your 9 to 5 job i would recommend you to read two or three hours any kind of a book related to the software testing this basically that will change your mind will basically enhance your expertise uh, whenever you will have a discussion around how to handle the testing gaps how to handle the developers what what you what uh, what are the steps we need to do when there is a production bug and all right all these answer that you are basically going to face in your future all these answer are already in these books um, and about the automation uh this books uh, contains lots of information about the automation what is the mindset what to do what to not to do and all right so that's all about the theoretical concept i know it's a little bit weird, but that was uh, my story where after 2 years i got to know about this but i would recommend you to start reading for you guys right so uh, important resources about this books uh, is that uh, about this task is basically all the tasks are available at the scrolltest.com/automationtask If you want to discuss on the Ministry of Testing about this project or the books, you can go to the day two of it. Ask me anything. If you have anything that you would like to basically discuss with me, you can go to api testing dot c or slash chat where I will definitely reply to you. Uh, if you want to learn more about the advanced automation stuff and become the part of the family of automation, then definitely join the testing academy dot com. Right. So let's discuss about the these three books, and I will recommend you. If you are following this challenge, buy these books. Uh, you can buy any from anywhere. I'm gonna put down the links also. If you can, it will support me in a way. But uh, it's your your choice, guys. Again, the first book is the basically software test automation paperback, right? Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about the few of the concepts that I have learned. I have read all the books, uh, all the three books. So uh, it basically en- encapsulates the years of experience of these guys, right? So this is written by Mark Foster. I remember, yeah, right. and uh, this book contain the information about what how what exactly you need to know to be a good software tester right this is one of the important point right and they are extremely ex- extremely 
extremely professional guys those guys are telling you how to be a good tester right imagine how much value they are providing right uh, this book is must for every serious test automation manager team lead or a senior as that or as that who is becoming to add that right this is a must for it it is not like that it's for advanced it's for test manager even if you are starting it uh, in even if you are in a manual tester wanted to switch to you should read this book and right? this will definitely change your mindset in that case right uh, they're they're going to talk about the principles of good automation scripts what to test how to te- uh, note how to test basically what to test and what to not test about it few of the things related to cho- choosing the appropriate tool uh, right and this is again i'm going to tell you tell you about the one of the story about it right uh, there was a time where everyone was talking about it right? right now even we talk about selenium we even test ng java right this is the like 80% or you can say 70% of the time people will ask you around the question and all right but uh when we were choosing certain tool for example we have a particular web project that we wanted to do right and that was very much uh, can be easily be done by this new framework which is cybrus right and uh, so roi basically if you don't know return of investment in automation right that was very very less for the cybrus uh, that we have implemented with the cybrus rather than the selenium right so that was one of the example i wanted to tell you like choosing a appropriate test tool is important i know there are lots of concept there are lots of knowledge documentation available for the selenium but uh the things that we wanted to achieve the test cases that we wanted to achieve that was pretty much done with the cybrus easy to use plugin most of easy very easy to use uh people already knew a little bit about the java and all they they immediately write down the uh, the test cases because it in contains mocha similar to the mocha right and uh, we have done the automation for it right in a very short time so that's what i wanted to tell you so it's these these kind of things that you will learn with experience that you can gain from these books actually right so choosing the appropriate test tool they will basically tell you about the advantage disadvantage and all so i will recommend this book if you go to this link you can buy it right right so let's come to the second book which is the way of web automation it is another interesting book Uh, which basically tells you how to how to basically write the good automation tests especially for the web automation right web automation is important and most of the time when if you have a uh, one thing i want to tell you guys uh it means i have like nearly 8 plus years experience and uh means people uh, say that okay i'm good in man, uh, mobile application testing means will i be able to uh, like switch to web or not right means i have been into mobile industry i have been into web industry i have been into testing some desktop apps again into web applications and also i was like keep so means after 2 2 3 3 years i was just changing my domain so i been to was banking domain uh, b2b's so customer facing or platform as a service right so these things uh, basically i i mean to say is that you will be changing your expertise day by day right so if you want to expert take an expertise from as a web tester start learning the concept from this book right you can uh, go to this link and start it right so the third one which is very much important and it is one of my favorite book which is experience of a test automation guys it covers very wide varieties of topics related to qtp j eggplant jmeter nigio selenium right and right uh a is basically talk about the test automation in agile development which is right now how people are using it uh b they uh, basically discuss about the measuring benefits and return of investment of automation right so i know it's a very new term for you and there's a uh, it's let me tell you one thing that a uh, return of investment has a particular fa- formula right if you are doing an automation what to do what exactly you have to do and how many scripts you have to create what is in scope out scope and what is a return on investment means if 10 people are doing manually and three people are hired as a ma- automation tester means which one has a more roi as something like this right we need to calculate that as a part of a if you are if you have a more than like 6 or 7 years of experience you need to present these things in front of you right that will those things those concept are there in this experience with test automation framework right uh, which which test to automate and what to automate they will give you more clarity these are just uh, these are just few of the points that i'm telling you guys uh i'll recommend you quick any any of the books any two books if you are comfortable any one book at least and start reading it and in the 30 days 
after 30th of june or something like that right i'll uh, basically we are going to review what we have learned and we are going to put we going we are going to put everything into the blog right i will start i'll uh, recommend you guys to start a blog if you don't know how to start a blog i'll definitely put some links below which can help you to start a particular blog and uh, start a blog write what are the le learnings about this 30 days of automation and testing and that will going to help you right automation changing from manual to automation guys just remember changing from manual to automation is not about the learning programming and all right i have explained in the previous video about it right that the first you need to change is your mindset after that you will start along with that you will start learning your programming languages your automation tools as well as preparing for the interview question and answers right so these are like four pillars of it changing your mindset is another important pillar that people forget to do it right so that is what i'm telling you guys right right so this is the link that you, where you can click and buy all the links are available in the description i'm going to put few more books that i think you should start reading it and uh, this is a day two about it i hope you have uh i hope you are pumped up because we are at day two and we're going to learn lots of concept related to automation test testing and a few of the concepts that uh, we are not going to cover in this we are going to cover in a different week right so don't worry about it right i am super excited uh, because uh, we are doing this challenge al uh, along with lots of people in the group do join the facebook group i will highly recommend you people people start start uh, commenting start uh, sharing the things that you are doing right uh, that will basically boost my confidence as well as yours right this this is one of the challenge that has changed my life I'll, I'll again i will recommend you to start it right so the next step will be buy any of this book and uh, start reading it and start a blog or anywhere that you are comfortable if you are going to read blog video audio and podcast or anything uh, if you have a personal load notes also you can do do that also right and share with me or you can share it on facebook group guys we have like thousand people who are discussing keep keep on discussing right there's no uh no no discrimination or something like this right you just share your feelings what you have and we're going to discuss about it right? thanks a lot for watching till now i hope you are pumped up and see you in the next video we are we are, are going to do the certain more stuff about the automation testing right thanks for watching